Hey everybody, this is Isaac A. Wardell, and I'm here today to talk to you about video editing software. Now, I'm sure most of you are wondering what I use on a daily basis to produce so many videos, both for clients and for my coaching channel, but also for our business channel. And I'm proficient here in what you're looking at, and that's Adobe Premiere Pro. And I would use this, I would say, probably about 5% of the time. Now, this is a expensive software uh, ranging from $800 or so on up if you're just buying this. If you're buying in a package, uh, it can be up to several thousand dollars. Um, but it's very uh, complicated. There's a lot you can do with it. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. you got a lot of transitions, a lot of effects. You can have a lot of titles, etc. This is a very complicated software, and I don't use it a lot because it's so complicated. At the same time, it does a lot more than most of your basic video editors but 90 plus percent of the time I don't need a complicated editor so I just thought I'd throw you this up here this is Adobe Premiere CS 5.5 just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like from the inside and then I thought I'd show you what I actually use most of the time it's a little more affordable I think right under $300 and that's Camtasia Studio and this is what I use 90 95 percent of the time to record and produce videos for both me and my clients because it's so simple to use you've only got a few uh, different things that you can do here but it's very simple in fact I thought that I could give you a quick demonstration I think I can record or rather produce one of my coaching videos very quickly here in front of you and probably keep it under five minutes or so so I'm gonna dive in and see if we can do it I'm just going to import the few items that I'm going to need. All right, under my folder here, and we're going to go under my video folder. All right, and I'm going to grab my intro, my exit, and my certification badge. And it's going to import it here into Camtasia. And then I need to import as well my uh, video. So we're going to go with the uh, free icons video because I haven't produced that yet. Now here's a recording I made using a screen capture I made using Camtasia Studio. So I'm going to click on that and you could do that by recording the screen and then saving the file. So now I've got all the files in here that I need. So I'm going to drag the intro video to the timeline here. And I'm going to say that I want to do it in HD for you too. And then I'm going to bring in my screen capture and then I'm going to drag my exit down here to the end alright and then I'm going to put some transitions in between uh, whoops in between the videos here that was just calculating some uh, well I'll show you that in a minute All right so now I've got fades here and I'm going to reduce those from five uh, three seconds down to five seconds go back to the clip bin now you can see I've got the the transitions there these are what that was calculating a second ago so they basically just zoom in zoom out um, on the screen uh, software there in this case I don't really want them because they're not adding anything I don't need to zoom in on anything I'm just going to uh, delete those alright I'm going to come right here I'm gonna add a call out alright and I'm gonna change the color to a darker color I'm gonna change this to a bigger and I'm going to change the color to a white type in my overlay actually uh, I think I say uh, alright and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to drag it out I want to Align it to the right side. Actually, I need to align the top to the right side as well. All right, and that pops in really nice right there. Okay, stretch it out a little bit, and then I'm gonna actually come back here. And you remember the uh, certification here? I'm gonna drag that in on top of this. Let it pop up on the top line. Uh, timeline here rather. Drag it over so it matches the uh, bottom part there. Shrink it down to size. 
put it right there. All right, now that's good. Now I'm going to actually unlink the audio and video here, and that's so that I can pull this in. I'm going to delete the audio from that clip because I don't need it. And I'm going to try to line this up with the end of the video. All right, approximately right there. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is the I'm going to enable the noise removal because I get some of the uh, the feedback in the mic sometimes. All right, now guys, it's been uh, about three minutes. I have just produced a whole video. Granted, I had all the 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 clip recorded, but I have just produced the whole video. It's ready to go. Uh, it's a uh, about a four minute video. I now can uh, save the project and it's under free icons. So I'm going to just type in free icons. And now I'd be I'm set to produce. I can go to produce and share as it's all ready to go. I, I would usually listen through it just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. In this case I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to uh, say where I want to export the video to free icons. I'm going to just leave it named like that. I don't want it in a folder. And if I click finish here, it's going to start rendering. That's how quickly I can produce a coaching video once I have recorded it. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful and that the tips will help you to be able to produce videos for your clients and for yourself as well. If you found this video helpful, I've got a bunch more of them at my website at IsaacAWardell.com. Just head over, put in your name and email, and you'll get access to the back end of my website where I've got a whole bunch of videos like this recorded for you. I look forward to seeing you over there.